So yeah, so I will be bringing up as we go along because I found this thing at the car and I'm like, oh my God, it's exactly the same as the reindeer. So I'm gonna bring it up to sort of demonstrate <laughs> for you at various points that I know. Kyoko was, is Kyoko here? Kyoko was like, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and here's why it's important. Like I said, what happened when people drew this reindeer without paying attention to this structure, they put the eye in the wrong place. They, it was as if there was no side of the face. They treated this and this as the same. And it is not the same, right? This is the top of the face and this is the side of the face. Um, this was always too small. This was always too big. People often put the legs all the way down here, right? Straight, like all of those things that don't, that when you're not really paying attention to construction are like really important. And so I thought, oh yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, so as a basic sketch, I'm actually gonna start how am I gonna start here? I'm gonna actually start with this front section. Can you guys, and I'm starting with this pencil here. So I'm actually, I'm starting here. So I'm starting with the front section. I'm coming down. I'm going over. So I know that if I go here, that that technically, I suppose I could sketch in this hole. There's that front rectangle just for sort of identification purposes. So notice this front rectangle is just uh, the sort of lineup of the front feet. So if I want to do that and sketch that in and sketch that in. So now that I've done that, I can use this to start measuring the distances of everything else. So here are some interesting things. Number one, if you look at the distance from here to here, <laughs> just the two front legs here is the same as the distance to the whole back. See that? Um, let's see, what's other things? If I go up here, Oh, interesting. Okay, so if I go up here, I can see that this is a little bit more than halfway up. So as I start to sketch in my other pieces, one, two, and in fact, not only is it halfway up, I can see that, um, <clears throat> how do I do this? One, two, that actually, if I go from here to here, it's the top of the head. So it comes a little bit up past this rectangle. Wait, measure that again, Leah, please this. So the this legs. spot here comes up a little higher than halfway. The legs are a little higher than halfway. Yeah, just a touch. So I can sketch oh, that. Do so you see what long. I'm saying? And I can oh, bring so this long. out almost like a little box. Look like the side of a cube. I can bring this up here. And then in here, I can draw in, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way to construct this without getting too crazy. So here's your front, here's this. And then this, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wider. Here. So before I go any further, here's where the legs are, the top of the legs are. And if I want to figure out how far to go, I can see that this comes out, I'm measuring like this, it comes out a little bit more than halfway here. So I want to bring this out to here. Notice I didn't bring it out initially as far as, as, as wide as it should be. So everything is kind of, and I can bring this up. So now I've drawn this line, this line, and this line, okay? Then I can try 
You know, honestly, if I want to be really boxy about it, I should do this. I'm not even going to try drawing that right. I'm not going to try and draw the ear right now because I'm going to mess it up. I'm not going to get the details right. So here, hold on a little bit. So this is where I want you guys ultimately thinking as artists. You're constantly thinking And this comes in, as you can see here, uh, I have it a little too far. This comes almost exactly to the halfway point of this box. See the ear on this side. It's interesting, isn't it? And this, And then I can sketch in. Yeah, doing that really helped me with the hand I had problems with. Yeah, because you don't know what's going on, really. Yeah, you just helped. don't know what's going on. Your, your idea of what's going on and what's actually going on are totally different things. So you need to kind of give up your idea of what's going on and box things that we're, what we're doing is we're exaggerating the planes. Okay, so this is going to be a tricky. Ah, interesting. So here, one, two, two. So here, the bottom shape. And also this is a little bit, yeah, it's kind of lined up with the leg here. You start to see also the relationships, like where is this foot in relation to the nose? Where is the eye in relation to the jaw, the side of the face? You see what I'm saying? Like all that stuff starts to happen. This is a very nuanced lesson, you guys. So we start with that. And now we're only dealing with the front, right? We don't need to worry about the back right now because the back is gonna be defined by how we establish the front. And because of that, I know that the eye is roughly here. And then The nose is roughly here. So there's this point in drawing, see I'm drawing the kind of dark part of the nose versus the light part of the nose. This is the side of the face, which totally exists. <laughs> Even though like, we like to pretend that it doesn't because there's nothing really happening here. So it feels like there shouldn't, but there's a shape here. Also, this is pretty big, bigger than you would think it would be. And then from here, I can start to sketch out. <clears throat> Notice how much smaller and angled the ear is. And then there is a second eye, but you can't really see it. It's kind of on that side. So that's really the front of the face kind of blocked in. This still doesn't look right. I think I angled it up too much. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop. Let me take a picture. Would that be helpful for you guys to see it? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Okay. So this is what we're practicing. Hold on. Where's my WhatsApp thread? Also, I have a question for you guys. Oh, I have some really exciting news for you guys. I am yes. so stinking excited. Yes. I, I mentioned it in the thing, but. Um, Tell us. Oh, Janet's Robert. Janet Roberts is the person who who uh, or organized this program. She's okay. in New York. She was my old boss. Um, okay, so Janet. here's the news. 
the news is, here I'm taking a picture of both of these while you guys are sketching. Um, the news is that next year we will have not only one, two, three core curriculum classes each week at the same time, at the same time as we've been doing them, Monday, uh, Thursday, and Friday. There's going to be two weekend classes that you can also attend. One is a really? beginning, one is a beginning drawing class, and the other on Saturday, which I will be teaching, and the other on Sunday is going to be taught by my colleague Marie. My, the, I just hired Marie, who did the pastel class with you last yeah. week, uh, to teach landscape drawing and painting on Wonderful, Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you would be excited. Oh, how are we going to have time to work? Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I was like, so I, I would love your advice before the end of this class. There's a couple of uh, one, one or two more things I want to do. And then ultimately, I'll be adding in um, a watercolor class as well. I just don't know when yet because I want it. So you will be able to take any of those classes. Um, obviously, oh, I could totally see this went too far. This is so awesome, Leah. So you got a lot of funding. I, it, well, let's put it this way. I haven't got it yet, but I know I'm going to get it. So okay. I am planning. Yeah. I was Act like, as if. right? Yeah. Can, I, I'm, can I ask a question before yes. we go on? Yes. Um, I, um, I am trying to draw on an easel, which I haven't really, I used it once in some class, mm -hmm. but um, um, it feels really awkward to draw on an easel. It, should I just not do that or? Just don't do it if it's not comfortable to you. Um, okay. Can you take me a picture of your setup? Maybe I can see, yeah. it might be your easel is too far back, <laughs> but I often find it'll be in this case, it'll be easier to draw. If you're working small, it'll be easier to draw sitting down. Yeah, so um, yeah, so what I realized was uh, that you guys need more that, that to be able to handle the number of clients I would like to take on, I need more teachers and I need more classes and I need a beginning drawing class and everybody wants landscape paintings. So, um, and Marie, I don't know how many of you sat in on Marie's, oh shoot, you guys didn't get to do it. No, but well, I'm gonna here, catch up this weekend. So here is the greatest thing. Marie is gonna start on um she's gonna start on uh december sorry january 9th which is a sunday and she's gonna start with a pastel wave so if you miss the pastel wave you can totally Ooh. take that class and she Fantastic. will walk you through it yep it I'll was be there. really good class it was so really good. i have a bunch of friends leah that want to sign up is there like a way for them to pay yes absolutely so uh all the classes are open to my every single work for our class is open to private students so they can just there it's all they can i'll, I'll is send it just you. on your website it's on my website they okay. can sign up for any class and they also have the addition of another sunday class which i'm keeping Perfect. as a private only class but yeah because yeah, these weekend yeah. classes are great for people right that's classes. what i was like because yeah. i was sitting there thinking like how do i offer a class that everybody can take yeah it needs to be on the weekend in every time zone yeah right and the only way to do it so they're a little bit early on our time you know they're not uh, the saturday class is 9 30 the Sunday class is uh, nine o'clock, but I think that's okay. Anyways, you can take any class free um, and hopefully I'll be adding in more. I have a um, watercolor will come in and yeah, that's the plan. So my next question, and let me know when you guys are, are ready to go on to the next step. Send it, send it to me if you want me to take a look at it. All right, I think I'm a little off, so I'm gonna send you more. Okay. Oh yeah, Lisa, you need to. Uh, you need a lot more need stability. Need a lot more stability than that. So you need a board. You need something that looks like this. Let's see here. So the reason you can't draw is you don't have. You're not drawing on anything. You're drawing on a pastel. Yeah, I'm just using. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that using... doesn't work. That's why it's not comfortable. Oh. Um, what so, about like this, like the back of the watercolor paper? Uh, maybe it might work. Okay. I actually see, can you see this? I actually have a board yeah. on my. What is that called if I wanted to get one? It's a board. It's just it's a, a board. board. A big drawing board. 
I love yeah. those boards. It's a drawing board. That's what it's called. Okay. And if you want to get one, top, they say you'll see, you'll know it when you see it. Right. All it's right. um. It's uh. What's the word for it? The word. There's a yeah, word. Yeah. I said your picture of mine. Yeah, and you can get them all sizes. They're pretty right. cheap. There the and with the clip on top. Uh, there are ones with a clip on top, right? Or you can just use banana clips. I have all sizes of board. I have right. big I think ones. I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm going to put the easel aside right yeah, now. Yeah, for now. Even, even though it really makes me feel like an artist when I use it. But. <laughs> oh, I'll be making you guys feel like artists. Because we're getting ready to pay. Boat, yeah, that's the thing. Whatever floats your boat. Yay. But you know, you can just have a piece of plywood too and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And in fact, this is called Masonite. That's what it's called. Yeah. This is really just masonite. a piece of Masonite. Yeah. So and, and that's what your basic drawing board is made up of. And and even so, Lisa, those um those uh, that easel is better for painting than it is for drawing. Okay. You're gonna find when you paint that you're you're gonna want Yeah, I to, think I used it when we did ink or something and it was it was it, easier, but it's yeah. a little bit, you know. I mean, I know I used it at least once. I can't remember right. what we were doing. Right, right, right. So, so guy, what, what did I do with my phone? Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's see. I'm looking. One, two. So yeah, your legs are too long. Are you talking to me? Yeah, Lisa B. Okay. Your legs are legs too, too long. long. If you look here, the legs like go leggy. to. I like leggy animals. There you go. The <laughs> legs go only slightly higher than the halfway <laughs> point. Oh, okay. okay. Hold on. Right? Oh, they're way too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the quickest way to fix that, of course, is to just chop off at the bottom, but make sure you. Oh, wait. So they only go. Wait, tell me again what the proportion is. Well, look at it. I, I want you to look and see. It's a little more than halfway. It's not very much more than halfway. A little bit more than halfway up the 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 first rectangle we drew. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're Let's way see, too Rallo. long. Way too long. Uh, Rallo, I'm gonna say the same thing. We all for... have a penchant for leggy like animals. Leggy animals. Let me look. Hold on. So <laughs> maybe like not. So one. Ah, so you did not, so this has, it. this, the head kind of extends out here. Hang on, hang on, let me get back on the thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you went straight up like this, and then you and started then, your I, head so here. Like, you'd already done it by then. So all right, so erase, <laughs> erase all this business. And I believe your legs are too, yep, your legs are too far up. So bring your legs down. Too far up. So just erase the legs, really. There is this extra shape here. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this is what happens. Like, because there's not a lot happening here, we to it's like, like people just forget about the shapes. And that's one of the things I'm really gonna be pushing you guys on because as we are going through, um, this is what we have to practice is no matter what it is we're drawing, we're, there are sides and fronts and tops and bottoms to everything. Let's see. Let's that right? see. Let me look. I'm just trying to grab it. Oh, I was so far off. Yes. Yes. It's my legs that are in the wrong place. Your legs are too small, Lisa. Remember, the legs are going to be no, no. They're too narrow. Remember, the legs are in fill up almost all oh, of this. Fill up Look that here. space. See my point? Yeah. So they so, need to be further apart. Further okay. apart, and you need to and pay wider. attention. And you need to pay attention not only to the shape of the legs, but the shape between the legs. Uh, but the length that, is right, right? The length is right. Okay. So your legs are going to take up this whole space. That's why we've got it here. All right. Right. This and I then the other thing that's happening, we'll add the, uh, we'll add the, we'll add these on the antlers later. 
The other thing that's happening is there's a kind of a, oops, it's so easy to get too dramatic here. There's like a little angle line like this. Happening. And then of course, legs here. And so I'm paying not only attention to, also feet are huge. In the front, the feet are really big. And that's because they're in front. Feet, feet and hands are way bigger than you think. So you see, I'm paying attention not only to that, to this shape, but I'm also paying attention to this shape between. Oh. I might even have to, now that looks pretty good. I might even have hard, to make this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so hard, but like it's the hardness is not the doing it. The hard is the thinking about it. Yeah. It's actually easier once you understand how to think about it, right? It's hard when you don't know how to think about it. Oh, I can see my problem. I need to bring my feet. Oh, you have a problem too. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I, so one of the things I noticed was, let's see. So the middle of my feet kind of lines up with the, with the edge of the nose there. So I'm actually starting not with my legs, but with the center. Oh, oh my guy is way too far. See? I'm starting with this oh. shape. I'm starting with this shape. I'm starting with the shapes. I'm starting with the negative space. I'm not actually starting. Oh my God, go. their legs are so much bigger than you think in the front. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's because they're bigger. That's because these guys are, let me make sure I've got this right. Yep. And that's because, and I'm skidding him up a little bit, but not that much. So I get the basic proportions. Look at how big the feet are. And look at, and I can still, see, I can still kind of slim it up a little bit. And things, obviously, there's like kind of the top leg, and then there's this part of the knee here. Just like humans, we have these little <laughs> circles where the knees are, right? And that affects the shape. And look at how huge those feet are. Look at how much yeah, space really is good. between. Yeah. So really, it's much bigger than you think it is. And do I have that right? I'm checking in a couple of places. Yep. I can, I still might thin it up just a little bit. I might thin it just a little bit, but yeah, this is the basic shape. And so I'm using, once I establish this shape in the front, that becomes this defining, really it was this rectangle that's defining everything. And you'll see it. So this is really the front of the animal. Like, like, da 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 da. This, the front of the car. This is a brilliant assignment. Got it? So there's the front of the car. There's the side of the car. So this, what we're working on is like this part of the car. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe part of the wheel, if we were to bring the wheel in. And look how big this shape, it's interesting. Just the things that you think, I guess what we're constantly having to do is, I think what people are used to doing is drawing it, kind of guessing where things are and then going, why doesn't it look right? And my response is always to return to the source, what's actually there. 
right? Versus what do we think is there? What is actually there? And that is, and once I've established a couple of things, I wanna go, um, and if you want to, you can sketch this car too, just for the heck of it. It's just a little drawing exercise I found online. Oh, wait, where's my WhatsApp? Ah. My cat thinks my brush is her play toy. Her of course, toy. of course she does. <laughs> All right, let's see. Paul, your animal is way too tall. What did I tell you? This is just a little bit more than halfway up this first rectangle. So I'll, do I cut? I got to cut its legs off? Yes, yeah, you do. I got to cut the legs off. You got to cut the legs <laughs> off. We're all making uh, the same mistake. Yeah. Lisa. Not Lisa. me, because everybody else already made it. So I know. Uh, not. Lisa's I know, like, well, right? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> my legs are short. I'm not going to make that mistake. <laughs> I'll make a different mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next thing as we're going through, and notice no detail yet. Notice where is the eye in relation to these five shapes? So where is the eye here? Where is the eye uh, in relation to here, to this little triangle, to this kind of trapezoidy thing, to this rectangle? Like, where is the eye in relation to these shapes that are all here? And that is really important to get that eye in the right, it's a big eye. Um, but all the shapes around it also have to have, and notice how much bigger the ear is here than this one. That's two things happening. One, we can see the whole ear, but two, this ear is closer and this ear, we can only see the side of it. And it's tiny and he's turning his head. <laughs> It's all kinds of things that are happening there. Uh, so the next can we thing she, can we see his other eye or no? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, a little bit. It's kind of over here. But okay. Not really. There's like a little. Uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll give you the picture so you can see it because I've kind of drawn over it. But let's put it that way. It's very simple. It's like a little triangle there. Okay. That's his eye. Okay. So um, so going from there. The next thing I'm going to do here, I'll move this on and we'll, we'll go back to the car later. Oh, wait, sorry, this one. Okay, so from here, I'm going to check and see how, how wide do I make this back? If I really, in fact, if I really want to get blocky about it, I could just do two rectangles, one kind of on the back side of the body. And then there's actually three rectangles, right? There's one, two, three. There's this one back here. So there's a little space here, here and here. And then I do a second rectangle and that rectangle is uh, a little bit less. Well, actually, if I measure from here, from the very back to here, it's the same as the, the full front. So if I go from here to here, right? From the eye all the way to the front rectangle. See that, see where my finger is? Mm -hmm. And I come over, no, wait, that's too big. Here, hey, you're measuring from the, from the ear to the, to the edge i was thinking. looking wait i'm looking for the best measurement uh you know really it's actually just the rectangle itself the rectangle itself this front rectangle that we drew so right in front of the eye the back the back rectangle is the sorry see that it's about the same yeah. size just a touch larger so from here to here i'm just going to mark one, two, I'm not gonna go back any further than that. I mean, I guess if you wanted to be simpler even, you just do this. <laughs> Sorry, here, let me show this. Now I've just drawn all over this thing. Um, even I cannot decide what the best construction is. Let me try drawing it in black so you can see it, right? So then there's that rectangle. It's a, it's, it's a, 
it comes like this, it goes down, it kind of stops here, right where the foot, the foot is, the foot starts, the ankle, and it comes back here. So that's the entire back half is contained in that. Let me double check that. One, two, yep, pretty much. Who's got the dog? I think that's Paul's dog, I'm guessing. Coco, right? Sorry. That's okay, but I'm right, right? That's Coco? That is Coco. Yes. All right. And then within this triangle or this rectangle, which I've now re measured against my first rectangle. So you see it. So it's tedious, this whole fucking drawing thing. Like, right. Like drawing <laughs> is really tedious. There's a tedious side to it. One of the things I see is that the hip kind of comes out here. And then it squares. So another Wait, thing- you're cutting off right there. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, you can't see it? Yeah, because I have um, my pictures on the side. Hold on, Here, hold on. How's that? To the top. Better? Can you yeah, see it now? Yeah, now I can see okay. it. I just moved them to the And top. let me move this guy here. I can move these a little closer together. How's that? So yeah. one of the things I also noticed is that people really struggle with the backs of things. You want to kind of draw this as a curve like that, but that's not what's really happening. If you can see what's actually happening, it's kind of more like a set of Julia. straight lines like that, right? Three uh -huh. straight lines. And you can see it here, here, and then in here, here, let me draw it in here, right? So once again, I'm focusing on negative space. It's actually gonna help me more than trying to get things in the right place just by guessing. And then the back legs are here. There's the back leg shape on the one side. There's actually two legs here, you'll see. And Hmm, I think about one, two, three. This is the other side of the two legs. You'll see if you look up close, that there's a second leg. So this there's this first leg in the front that's thicker and bigger, right? And goes like this. And then there's a second leg on the side, it's darker. And it goes like this. And it ends about there. Mm -hmm. Also, just like a car, this looks like it's going straight, but it's really slightly curved up. Yeah, there we go. That's the basics. And then from here, of course, we've got this series of, like we've got that back hip happening and then we've got some darks and lights. Maybe it comes down a slight bit further, but not that much. So everything I'm constantly, as I'm setting things up, I'm constantly evaluating everything against, against this first set of measurements. So what is this similar to, guys? What do we do in drawing that was like this? Don't say art. <laughs> <laughs> what is this similar to that I'm having you do? Remember this? The build, we did the the face we did? Oh, the faces. 
uh, faces or figure uh, drawing. Figure drawing. Do you remember, we had to establish our vertical distance by measuring the head, right? So essentially, <laughs> we did the same thing, right? Like that's what we did, right? We've just established this distance kind of randomly, right? We made this little rectangle and now we've established it. And now we use this to measure everything else. So you know, I, I, I did that and I didn't grid and I just tried to, you know, use my own measurement and um, do everything in proportion. But now I realize I did not leave enough room for the antlers. Mm, I almost uh, did not leave enough room for the antlers. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to excuse you for that because I almost lost room for the angle. I, uh, the antlers are really one head up and I'm like right there. So it's, uh, okay, it's okay. This is mine. Is I, I drew that this is on drawing paper. Is that going to work with pastels or? Yeah, you can use whatever. Yes, totally. You're going to find that you're going to be able to use a lot of these different methods. I'm really excited to get you guys to painting. Yeah, and for everyone uh, that didn't see my my text, your ants actually have a real big sale on golden acrylic. Oh yes. Acrylic. Yeah. Oh, that's a great, that's a great thing to know. Yeah, because I I hadn't found Golden online and then I went to the local Joann's and then they had it on sale 25%. Oh, that's crazy. And it was, and it was actually, I had bought, I had found some online and I bought any cheaper on Joann's and anything you can find online. Just so you know when you have to buy. Right. That's great. Thank you. Hey, Leah. Yeah. Can you look at mine I sent a little bit ago before I go any further? Sure. Tell me if my legs are too long or too short. I this little reindeer. Hold on. It's cute, right? Let me look here. Maybe I made his legs too skinny. This is a male, clearly, because of the antlers. <laughs> Rollo, looking good. Yeah. Looking good. Looking. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send you this picture again, Rollo, so you can start doing the... And Lisa R. But you think that's okay? Yeah. Looks okay. great. The, the, the proportions are great. Okay, so Lisa R, couple of issues. Um, Rollo, the only thing I want you to pay attention to, and then Lisa, I'll get to yours. Yeah. This, the nose is much bigger. Um, so um, I sort of like scribbled around it. I yeah, think. yeah, no, bring it, look at how big it is. I want you to look at how much space it takes. So you have it like kind of squished in here. I want you to, it really is a square shape, this shape, and I want a rectangular shape, and I want it, it needs to be bigger and not round like that. It, okay. you've, you've, you've made it too small. So it's really much more flat and uh, angular. It's too big, it just seems to get bigger and bigger. Well, it's big, but why would it be big? Because it's coming towards us. Right. It's actually the yeah. thing that's the closest to us. The, this mouth is the closest thing to us on that an animal. So it's gonna be bigger. Just like, right, when I'm punching here, do you remember the punching video I did? Here, wait, hold on. I'm gonna switch over to me here for a second so you can All see. Right. All right, so when I'm punching, right? My arm, my hand, my right here is the biggest thing. It's almost as big as my head. See that, yeah. right? So the nose is doing the same thing. It's coming forward, which means it's gonna be bigger. Anything that's closest to you is gonna be bigger than you think it is. And that is the beginning of you beginning to learn to draw is you guys saying to yourselves, oh, that thing is closer to me. It's gonna be bigger than I think it is. <laughs> like, that's it. Um, all right, let me get here. So Lisa B, I'd say the same thing. Nose is a little bit bigger. It needs front. to be bigger or smaller? Bigger, bigger, bigger. wider, wider. Wider. Uh-huh. Okay. I can do that. Everything I actually narrowed so it down, so. 
Okay, and Lisa R. So Lisa, same thing, bigger. Yeah, okay. Right? I think I had it bigger and then I just felt like it was too big. Yep. I did the same yep. thing. So, so just get your, just let yourself know that you don't know. <laughs> like it's you bigger. don't know. If it's coming towards you, it's bigger than you think it is. All right. And that's the only thing I can tell you, like with perspective, the first thing that I remember I got was, oh, that's coming towards me. It's going to be bigger than I think it is. And that's far away from me. It's going to be smaller than I think it is. Uh, and there is a side, right? Like there is this side here, even if I don't notice it or see it. Uh, Paul, that looks pretty good. Hold on. Let me look again. Thank you. Better. Good improvement. Um, I would say, oh, bring up, bring down the legs a little, bring down this V shape here just a little bit. And the back legs, Paul, they're, they're small, they're smaller and they're, they're, they don't go down as far. You see okay, how so you I, have I them? They go too up, much. But look at, look at where they are. Look at where they are. They are actually above where the front legs are. So the back legs are above where the front legs are. And as well, you've got the back legs attached onto the end here. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's yep. kind of Just erase that whole thing and, and put them where they're supposed to. Yeah, Lisa, you got it. You got it. You got it. All right. Now, let me give you um, the real piece. Again, it's here at the beginning of our block, but it's and then if whoever finishes it, I'll put the car up and you can sketch the car too. If you like get finished with this, we can. Boy, Lisa Bertland, nice progression. I really liked seeing where this went. I, he got skinnier, you know. You got, you really like honed him right in. And that's the other thing I want you guys to get about this. Here you go. So it's come out, now you can see it. And if you want, I'll print out another copy of this um, without all the markings on it uh, in black and white. Either that or you can just actually, maybe I can even turn this into a black and white. Let's see. Can I turn this into a black and white? Easily? No, no new phone. Uh, it's just, I don't know how to do it from WhatsApp. That's okay. Oh, He's okay. He's so close to black and white anyway. Okay. So like, yeah. And you might want to use pastels or you might want to just stick with pencil or you may want to, yeah. <laughs> gonna go with. Yeah. And then you'll see that you might do a little thinning out, right? Just yeah. tiny bits as we kind of come through small thinning out, but that when we do those corrections, it makes it more possible to get things right on the first go. I think that's the thing about this technique is that even though at the beginning it feels wrong, at the end you're like, oh, right. Okay, so here's my next question, you guys. What should, <laughs> I'm feeling like block one, block two and block three are a little bit too vague uh, descriptions for these classes. Do you think it would be better if I went back to describing them as uh, core curriculum, US West Coast? Yes. Core curriculum, US East Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Europe and India. Yeah. So like, so that it's what the after work is. And yeah. the point is, and then the big, and then the, the, the classes on the weekends are just going to be beginning drawing and, and, and landscape painting. So I don't have to call them anything. Um, but uh, okay, I will do that. Cause I feel like I may actually even recreate, eh, I'll probably just, I'll probably just rename the block. So I'm going to rename that one more time. There was a point where we were trying at Reuters to encourage people to go to all the different groups, but really what happened was people just kind of gravitate towards, I mean, they know what they're going for. If this, they, you know, some people are like, I have, I, you know, it's like nine o'clock in, on a, in New York is very late. <laughs> very late, yeah. I don't know. I, I used to be a night owl and I would do things like that, but right. not anymore. We but have anymore. Cindy and what? No Kyoko today. That's too bad. 
Um, some people are preparing for Christmas. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> <that's true. laughs> that's so funny. All right, let me remove this. I'm spotlight. not one of them. <laughs> me either. Um, you are Lisa. You're drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking. I would like to show you my Christmas chicken, which we made. You my have family Christmas would chicken? always, my family would always do our tree toppers with toys. So this was the last toy that we did a, a tree topper for. Here, hold on. I'm I'm gonna spotlight you. I'm gonna send it. To you. <laughs> no, no, just put it up. Let's. Oh, right. Do you have it? There? Yeah, hold on. I'm sending it now. Oh, okay, all so right. We like so my 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 brothers used to break the legs off my Barbie dolls all the time, and Jesus. my Barbie dolls became our tree <laughs> top. Well, I had five brothers, so my Barbie dolls all became our tree toppers. <laughs> so this is our last tree topper. <laughs> oh, oh he's cute. Adorable. I love him. He's so cute. cute. Oh, we yeah. should draw him. We should draw him too. Very if we've cute. got time. We will. Yeah, he's very, very cute. <laughs> yeah, so my, I had a I had a Barbie doll that was like a skipper, and my dad named oh. her Fluff, and my brothers <laughs> broke her leg off. Who knows what they were doing? Oh and like Fluff was our Christmas topper for a thousand years. And then so the, Lisa, where were you at the birth order of all of these? This month, fifth of these six. Months? You were what? Fifth of six. So you were almost the baby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. And all boys other than me. So like, this was like a big so Are you a little bit like, uh, di well, it doesn't sound like they really treated you like protectively. <laughs> they broke really. the legs off your Barbie <laughs> doll. <laughs> Not so much. That is good for you now. It's good for me now, yes. Oh God, that's so funny. Well, you know, it is interesting, Lisa, kind of going back to this idea of like the small towns, right? The Trumpy towns, like most of the time people are way cooler. They're just kind of losing their shit right now. Well, I find that there is a certain, you know, that whole thing about like, fuck your feelings. That's a big yes. thing. Yes. But they're also super sensitive. So I go and they're like, people from California suck. And I'm like, okay, let me tell you how you suck. And they're like, you suck for telling me I suck. Right. Like, you hurt my feelings. Tell me, I just let you tell me how much I suck for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so it's, it's like all the people I know who are super Trumpers were people who were huge losers in high school. And I don't know how else to say it. They were your brothers. Losers. Are your, is your, are your family Trumpers? I have one, one of my five brothers are Trumpers. That's interesting. Yeah. Only it's one. Because of, it's because of his wife. Right. Who was like, she was like always super Catholic and her grandmother was a prostitute. So now she's like a super, you know, like you, you're a virgin when you get married sort of thing. There is nothing that says that like Trump. Yeah. 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 It's all, it's all so <laughs> messed up, you know? Yeah. We're in Crazyville, like we're in Coltsville. We need to all realize that we're in Coltsville. Nothing makes sense yeah. anymore. Yeah. Well, and you know, now people are dying and people are dying over it. And not just, and before it was, it was black people, right? Like it was like yeah. people, now it's like even the white people are dying over it. Yeah. <laughs> like, so my hometown is dumb. running our annual Christmas train. Oh, wow. Yeah. And our cases have doubled in the last month and they haven't had any high profile deaths yet, except for a couple of really old people. But the next couple of months are going to be really terrifying. Yeah. Leah, they're can gonna I... be, They're going to be really angry about it. Yes. Irrationally. Irrationally angry about it. Leah, I'm going to send you my reindeer. Um... I think something's wrong with him, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's There's nothing reindeer. wrong with your reindeer. <laughs> reindeer yes, well, Leah, so I'm, honestly, Leah, reindeer. I'm going to tell you what I thought at the beginning of this class. I saw that picture of that reindeer, and I thought, that looks really hard. I 
don't know if I have the brain power to do this tonight. And then you said, well, drawing's really hard. And I, at the beginning, I was actually thinking like, can I just paint abstract so I don't have to learn to actually draw all this stuff? And the answer to that question is no. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I figured. No I figured. But I feel yeah. you yeah. that it's hard. Yeah. Try, Lisa. I feel you that it's hard. I it's feel bad. you that it's hard. All right. Well, look at mine. I mean, he, you know, he somewhat looks like um, a reindeer. So, you know, I'm not totally discouraged, but. I know he's off somehow. Mm -hmm. But he's okay, Lisa. <laughs> he's really okay. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> you know, I, oh, I'm well, your well, right. Well, I'm your right brain training coach, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> That's like, a very specific all, like I'm your right brain training coach. You have to know the rules before you break them. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but Lacey, you're doing great. Like, oh, really, you. do not get discouraged. You're doing great. Hold on, thank let me. You. I honestly think that Lisa, since I've known Lisa Rich Wine, she's developed so much. She has. All right, Lisa. Oh, here's sweet. what. Here's what the problem is. Okay. Your back end is too big. Okay. So you extended. Remember. Come over here and look. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. From I here to here, you actually added the back legs on. You did the same thing Paul Manassian did. You added onto the back. Oh, leg. oh yeah. I totally so just see that erase now. that back and then yep. you'll be able to get yep. it. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, what uh, the good news <laughs> is that the more you do this, yeah, the more you're going to be able to see it. And and the good, the other good news is that certain mediums, it, and this is really different for different people. Uh, we've been in drawing. Sometimes it's easier to see this when you're painting because um, painting is easier to sort of bring into shapes. Whereas with the pencil lines, we want to draw, you know, we want to like create contours. But with the brush, it's often easier to create shapes. So over the year, you might find that it's easier to see the shapes in when you're working with a paintbrush. But this is how I want you to see the world. Block, 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 block. Carve, carve, carve. <laughs> for, for me, it's, it's all negative space that helps me. <laughs> mm. Like yeah, I'm not to negative space seeing yet. So when you say negative space, what do you mean? It's the, the space, space between, between the objects. legs. It's the space yeah. between the objects. So the so space just between... like a jigsaw puzzle. Look at what I'm pointing at here. Yeah. So just like a jigsaw puzzle, if I can't build, I can't have this leg without this piece in between. Mm -hmm. I have this rectangle so I can carve out this shape, mm -hmm. right? That's the negative space. Where's his other leg, Leah? It's back here. Oh, it's right behind. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. And you'll see it when you look at the picture. It's there. So this is, an, this is a negative space right here. This is a negative space. This is a negative space, this triangle, mm -hmm. right, here, right? This shape is a negative space. This space is a negative space. That space is a negative space. These spaces are negative. You need to get these along with these. And what people wanna do is forget about this. So I can't tell you how many people drew this with the legs together with no space in between. Mm -hmm right? Because they weren't thinking about the space. So you need to think about the space between. And often it's easier to carve a shape through the negative spaces first. And then moving. See how I did here? Mm -hmm. Right here? Before I, I try to carve out the other shapes. And Lisa, I would also say... My back leg is too far away. It, this comes out, this needs to come out a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah, your back, back leg is, is slightly, back, yeah, right? so you need to bring it in a little bit. Yeah. 
Yep, exactly. And so once you get. Oh. Fighting me. Ow. You're crazy. My cat is crazy. <laughs> So Lisa Richwine, are yeah. you all for the are you all for the holidays? Uh yes, ex except that I have to work Sunday morning. But I'm off. I'm day off. After Christmas? <laughs> Two yeah. days after Christmas to cover the Wonder Woman box office returns. Oh, oh. I don't think she's gonna do. No, uh, I think no one will in this country will go to the theater to see it because they can watch it at home on HBO Max. I'm watching her. Does that count as box office returns? No, watching it's it on HBO Max. No, it's going to be very annoying because they're probably not going to give us real numbers. They'll just say something like "We were really pleased" or you know, "Millions of people watched it." I mean, there's no third-party tracking, so you'll never we'll never really know how it did um, on HBO Max. But I. I'd be surprised if many people go go to the theater. I mean, well, Why you would know, you? and New York and LA are the biggest markets in um, the US and theaters are closed in both those. Yeah, markets. we're both having so, terrible breakouts. Anyway, it's it's a sign of, you know, how the theater business is doing, which is not good. Is anyway, but I'm off. I'm off the next I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's wonderful. Yeah. I'm excited to watch Soul and Wonder Woman on TV. I mean, yeah. Has anyone seen Soul yet, apart from me? I've seen parts of it. It's wait, wait, what's Soul? That's the new Pixar movie. Oh, is it good? Really Super I good. Mean, it was really good. Lisa, have you seen it? Lisa, I it? haven't. It's it, it's gotten amazing reviews, though. Yeah, I mean, I've seen most it? of it. It's super good. I oh, that's exciting. It, I said, I'm, I'm calling it now. I think it's going to get best picture, but. You think so? Yeah. Which one is uh, Well, I have to tell you, it is such a love letter to New York City. Aww. Which one could win Best Picture? It's Soul by Pixar. Yeah, it's wonderful. And I mean, Pixar is known, you know, for always having quite high quality and several reviews consider this the best Pixar movie ever. Wow. The interview was quite tough, I thought. I, you yes, know, I, I think that this is what they, I, you know, the film Inside Out. Yes. Yes. I, it's not like Inside Out, though. It's, I think this is what they were trying to do with Inside Out and they didn't quite achieve it. And I think with this yeah. one, they- Yeah, this is about like what your soul's destiny is. Like it's very, I think it's very timely for where we are right now. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's gonna kill in box art. I think it's gonna be a smash. Well, I think, I think that what probably Disney are planning to do is actually, get it a following and then put it on the big screen. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it, what's happening in China with that? Uh, the Chinese film market is open and actually doing pretty well, um, but- So are they debuting it in China on Christmas day too? Um, Wonder Woman came out in China a couple of days it ago. Dropped. I don't know about, I don't know about Seoul. Um, usually, um, movies like that are a little bit later in China, but hmm. I don't know. I need to know that by Sunday. It's had, it's had just <laughs> <laughs> You'll figure it out by then, Lisa. I know you will. Lisa, it's had, it's had uh, not very good box office in China so far. Yeah, like Wonder Woman? Kind of flopped. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw Black Bottom the other day. Oh, it's oh I liked it. Did I you like it? Called, I think it's a Chinese culture that's... I I thought it was so cartoonish. I thought it was fabulous actors, but really shitty story. Which too one? talky. I thought it was too talky. I thought they had some moments where there was like all talk and no I mean, action. It's one thing that it's a play that's been filmed, but I mean, it it was so cartoonish. They could have done so much more. The actors I agree. were fantastic. What are you talking yeah. about? Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it not as good as people are saying it? Is? I liked it. Oh. oh, 
I thought I thought it was good, but I thought there were just points where it was like to the point where it was talky that it got preachy. It, well, it's a play. That's the thing. It is a yeah, you know. but you can have a play that's not preachy. Yeah, but you know, all the the Jewish characters were just money making grubber. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's was, gross. It was grossly cartoonish. Yeah, but I think what's her name was so good, Viola, Viola Davis. Yeah. Oh, I thought amazing. Chad. I mean, Chadwick, Chadwick was, was amazing. Fantastic. He was the yeah. best thing in it. I yeah, he, I yeah. think he's going to win the Oscar for that. Yeah. What happens fantastic. with that when you're dead already? Yeah, it goes you to can, your family. You can I still win. Yeah. yeah. That's good. What that would be a beautiful lost. thing. Do you know what I watched the other night, which I think I, I would actually recommend, but uh, I mean, it was just something I'd never heard of. Uh, and, um, but it was, the, I think Variety did uh, a list of films that were under the radar, films that were good, yeah, but not enough people had reviewed them or watched them and they hadn't got any whatever. And they all looked really serious, apart from one that was called The, the, the Wrong Missy. The wrong Missy? Has wrong. anyone seen this? No. Was it good? Uh, my God. It's, what, where did you watch it? Uh, I watched it on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Okay. Oh, I, I have to see that. And it's David Spader, but he's, it's this, it's this just really stupid film and it's just the actress that makes it. And it's about the fact that he goes on this nightmare date with this girl called Melissa. <laughs> and then a month later he meets the love of his life called Melissa, and then he accidentally starts texting the wrong one. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. And invites her to this uh, weekend away with his work. Oh uh, no! Oh, oh that's so funny. Turns up, and of course, it's just like, and she is a, she is. I, I've never seen a, a an actress be like so ferocious on screen. She's just a mess. She's a hot mess all the way through. Nice. <laughs> and, that sounds uh, fun. I have to watch that. That is, does sound fun. That sounds really fun. It's worth watching. The actress is just amazing, and I'd never heard of her before. But um, a lot of what's people her put, name? Let me just look her up because I keep. I think it's Laura Luxus or something. Is or, she British? No, she's American. She's about seven foot tall, and she's just. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I love uh, when we hear about somebody who. Uh, who no one knows that you know who doesn't have like sort of massive he's not massively known yet lauren yeah. lauren uh lapkus everyone has to start somewhere right yeah right yeah. but it's basically a vehicle for her i mean she is just insanely let's see just sort of out of control oh great lisa the thing that Variety was saying is that we haven't seen a, we've seen a lot of men in this role, but we've never seen a female in this role. Oh, that's wonderful. So Lisa, now, believe it or not, legs too are short. Little, the front legs are a little too short. So yeah. I want you to look here. The other, the other, so you did not go halfway. Uh, what's going on here? Why is that construction now? Oh, I see. Um, you need to extend the legs down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Measure here. Look here. The mm -hmm. head, it's three heads. One, oh, so the knees are at number two. Three. Yeah, the knees are at number two. Knees are so at just number extend two. your legs down and make the feet bigger. You have the feet too small. They're look still at how too big small. The feet, look at how big the feet are. Okay. Look at how big they are. Look at them. They're big. Yeah, they are big. Because they're, the feet are as big as the mouth, uh, the nose, this flat area of the nose. Mm -hmm. Let me find something. Does everybody have their paint supplies? Not yet, no. Not yet. I will. OK, you're ready to start next week? Yes. I thought we yes. might start with clouds, which are pretty oh, I love easy clouds. and kind yeah, of fun. fun. And they're and they don't really require a source, so it's just a technique. Um, and then we'll get to we'll get to bigger things. We'll do clouds, and we're going to practice a little bit of mark making next week. I'm kind What's of mark making. How to how to how to do things with the paintbrush to make different marks with the paintbrush. Ah. Mark making is an important artistic um, yeah. term. 
it is how you use the tool to create marks to create realism, right? So how do you make fur? How do you make darks? How do you use your pencil to create a, a light line or a shaggy line or a straight line? Um, everybody does it a little bit differently, but mark making is, is really important in, the, in, in artistic lexicon. And it's huge when you get to painting because, you know, it's a whole different way of, of, of work, you know, trying to cover space, this flat space here. I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, it is, it, I, I really enjoy this so much. It's like, like I got the whole new community in my world. Same. <laughs> Totally. Same, same, same. I know. Totally. I'm so glad to see you guys. I'm because I've been away for a couple of weeks because we yeah, had our party and then and then we had that one night where both Lisa and I were stuck working late. That's right. Yeah, sorry what about was, that. That was totally unexpected. Yeah, that's okay. What it happens. The then? I'm trying to remember. It was oh. like the shit show of December. Yeah, I don't even remember like now what it was, but December, it was terrible. It was just, I know it was. Yeah. yeah, it was like I didn't sleep that whole week. Yeah. Um, but I am going to make up all. Yeah, my so I missed all you guys. I'm off next week. We missed you too. Oh, thank you. We missed you too. Exactly. And anybody planning on coming to the first, uh, planning to come into landscape draw painting or draw, it'll be drawing and painting. I think she's going to start with pastels and then move to oil painting. This is this I'm, week I'm, coming up? I'm, no, no, it'll be the following week. Challenge. And what's the time again, Leah? December, it'll be nine o'clock in the morning. I'll send out mm -hmm. a, I'll send out a reminder. So I'm going to change the name of this class to core curriculum, West Coast, U.S. West Coast. And I'm going to change the name of the East Coast one to Core Curriculum U.S. We East Coast. We'll have the one for Europe be Europe and India, and then, um, and then those weekend classes will be. And so, if you want to, you can get on the WhatsApp thread for them. I'll create one. And I'd highly recommend that those of you who are new to drawing should continue on with the drawing like should consider jumping yeah. into beginning drawing because i think that is the thing yeah. that we've kind of missed so we can the, will she be recording those leah yeah so we'll we be, everything will be recorded and on the everything will be recorded and go on to the uh, youtube channel so okay, I the two pastel the waves, exactly. So the two pastel waves will be um, on the weekend. Right. Uh, well, the two pastel wave classes are already up so you can see it and try it. But I, I asked her, I did tell her, cause I'm like, I know we didn't get a chance to do West Coast cause we had to cancel the West Coast class. So yeah. why don't you make your first class a wave pastel waves class? On December third. Oh, cool! Yeah, and so right. you can jump in and do that. I'm gonna try to do that. I haven't. Yeah, I'm gonna do that on vacation. I would like to do that again. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's yeah. pretty. Uh, yeah. I that like is... it. And Marie's a good. Te you know, Marie's a good teacher. Yeah, so, she was very good. She was very good. I am well. I trained her myself. I molded yeah. her from yeah. lately. Yeah. From I have to say, as a, as she has had no training except for me, uh, beyond her college training, That's and I'm crazy. like, That's yeah, so great. I'm very excited. She's she yeah. worked with me for three years, so I feel like if anyone I could think of to have her be my first hire is really good. I'm like, yeah, she will, she will carry on the brand. Let's put it that Yay. way. And then we had a very fascinating conversation about, cause we want to add other teachers on like, what is our brand? You know, what's the brand? And so, you know, like, it's not just about being a good artist uh, or even really being, being able to teach. You also have to be nice and make people feel yeah. included and you know like there's this whole thing so we came up with a whole training program to train so i'm hoping to bring on wow look at you i'm hoping to bring on 10 more companies and i would love to bring on like three or four more teachers so oh my nothing, god leah this is so amazing needs, well what do you think don't you think other people would want to do this oh i have all my friends want to do this 
Yeah. All of my friends. No, and Leah, what I love is when you, I mean, like you just said, like you're so excited to teach us mark making. Like I'm sure a lot of people would be like, oh my God, that's the most boring thing. I'm, you know, I'm already an expert <laughs> at that, but you're like, I can't wait to show you. I <laughs> like, can't wait to show you. It is really fun. You know, it's and totally that's a good fun. teacher that is excited about the subject, right? Oh, I <laughs> love it. the uh, Academy. Uh, What's that? Leah Academy of Art. That's yeah. right. It's going to be Leah, like Madame Leah's. <laughs> Madame <laughs> Leah's Academy of Art. There you go. You're all done. No more planning. Did you guys story. ever read the uh, Noel Streetfield, Streetfield books, uh, Dancing Shoes, Ballet Shoes, Theater Shoes? No, the British but books. I heard about them in the movie. Oh, my. Oh, yes. And there's a movie. Like, they all there's all some madam there's all a madam so and so theater training school there's a madam like so and so you're a dancing academy there's a madam blah 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 it's all about orphan kids that get into like in in the in in england that get taken in to do you know commercials and pantomimes and things like that and World War One and World War Two, and it's fantastic they ultimately get into the movies and um, yes, there's a character like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I really, I was thinking about it and thinking, I, I mean, I would, it'd be fine if I just continued on the way I was, but I really think more people need this. And I think, Especially now. I think right now it's really important. And, uh, and I can only do so much teaching, right? Like I, right. I, mean, like I just literally cannot do anything more so why not add on to it bring more teachers on add more classes give you guys more options to work with other people I'm still here it's not like I'm going anywhere but like give people other opportunities to yeah have a real like art academy experience yeah go for it Leah all right we're gonna do, do it, it. yeah <laughs> I'm excited I am really excited. I'm excited, excited to teach you mark you. making and I'm excited to like build an academy up. So you're a very good teacher. So you should keep yeah, going. You are. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Keep going. Can you look at the one I just sent over, Leah? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad you guys didn't think this class today was weird, but I think it's helpful. No, oh, as soon much as I saw the car, I was like, I know what she's doing. <laughs> Lisa, you're almost, Lisa Richwine, you're almost there. The legs in the front are thicker. Oh, they're thicker. Okay. Because they're bigger, right? Because mm. they're, because they're in front. So they're not just longer, they're also thicker. Okay. In fact, the leg is as thick as the thickest uh, here as the thickest part of the negative space between here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, nice I see call. the negative space. Good. I like it. I just figured out why the, uh, the color, how to get the color, because uh, you need a white base for that. But I started with a brown base and I kind of colored white and gray over it. Great. I think it looks great. The only issue you have these legs lined up. See this, you guys? He's lined it's up his legs. flat surface. Yeah, so Paul, the, the, the back legs are not down here. They're up here. Yeah, you're right. So I want you to go over with a background, carve out the okay. bottom of those legs. Also, you're, you're, uh, I like the face a lot and I love the color, um, yeah, but like you're, color this is still a little bit too long. Yeah. Okay. So, so just pay attention to that. So Paul, for you, I noticed it's hard. It's hard to like keep kind of stay within the, you know, the bounds of the figure. I want you to well, really- I have, a, I have a similar with faces that the same issue. So it's, it's, it's yeah. a three dimensionality thing, but I think it's because I'm, yeah, I, I think it's because I just need to practice drawing like cube type of things. And I, I think, think you just need to pay attention more. I think you need to pay attention more to the pieces. What happens is you drift out and then you're not aware that you're doing that. So before you jump ahead, I want you to be looking at the things and going, are these shapes the same size, right? Right, right. Like, I want you to pay attention to that, more attention. And that's where you, fi that's where you fall off you because you stop paying attention. I think you get tired. I think yeah. that's what happens is we get tired 
and we don't want to pay attention anymore. <laughs> that's like the, that's the exhaustion of drawing. I mean, I should show you guys the painting I'm working on right now. It's just insane. It's tedious. Let's it's see. ridiculous. Let it is it. like half done. It requires so much going back over and over. Yeah, I'll show you. Send I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. Well, I'm just going to take you over there. Let's see. Just send it our way. I think I can add a spotlight and take you over. So it's not anywhere done. Can you guys see it? That's wow. Yeah. That well, is that very, um, what's the guy that did the, uh, what is it, Skyhawk? The, um, uh, Ed Hopper. Edward Hopper. Hopper. It's very Thank Hopper. You. Thank you. It's half done. Yeah. It's like so fucking tedious. I'm going to have you come up here and take a look. It's fucking tedious. It's so like, I'd love to see blah, that. In la, blah. It's like so, all these fucking tables and, and all stars. these fucking stars. I, there are so many stars left that I have not painted that I have to paint uh. windows and like this fucking shit, like all of it. And it's a constant. I can't tell you the tedium. But it's wonderful, Leah. Thank you. Thank you. But I guess what I'm trying to like, and yeah, it's a commission actually, uh, Washington, D.C. Um, a woman likes, it's a woman's neighborhood and she took a photo and she wants me to paint it. But I, I was, I guess what I was trying to emphasize is this idea that it's tedious. Wow. Yeah. No, painting, it, art is tedious. Art is tedious. It's, there's a tediousness to going back yeah. and checking and did I go too far? And like, there's this tendency to want to jump into adding color before you know, is, are my, and it's easy to drift off. Yeah, that's line. why I'm so um, obsessed with drawing lately. Yeah, because that yeah. is, if you can get that down. If you can draw, then you can paint. Exactly. Yeah, but drawing is hard. <laughs> So a, a practical question, uh, do you have a class tomorrow, Leah, or is it? It'll be Friday. They'll be both Friday. Okay, so I'm doing the open. Yeah, so Diana day. will have, I thought I sent an email out about that. So Diana will have a, go ahead, Diana, sorry, I interrupted. No, 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 you can say it. You're, Diana's going to do a um, an open studio tomorrow. Uh, oh, my God. 8 to 10 a.m. our time. So uh, right. you said it was, I thought you said it was Friday. No, it's tomorrow? No, it's tomorrow. Uh, that, Are you recording? Fine. Can we watch it after? No, I am i don't record. She's not recording. Oh, this is Diana, just like you, you can break bring whatever heart. you want. This Why is are you such control. a heartbreaker? <laughs> <laughs> this is you can bring whatever you want and work. It's lovely. Uh, usually at least a couple of people from Europe join. It's really nice. It's like a nice way to just sit and work on things and chit chat. You can yeah. continue to work on this. Can I give my kind of advice? And mm -hmm. That is so unfair <laughs> to the rest of us who are working stiffs. I <laughs> So Diana will be doing that. Yeah, no, uh, we decided to uh, actually, we've moved that Friday, we've moved that class to Fridays, the Europe India class, I think. Yes, we've moved it to Fridays. If um, we could go earlier, I could do it. You mean six, seven? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> no. no, Diana says no. No, that's a little too I, early. I have no problem with that. To summer, I could do it because I mean, I like to take my dog out in the morning. But okay, well, if you change it this summer, I'm all in. Yeah, I can easily do that because doing it in the morning, then I, I can work afterwards, so it's right. It's fine. Yeah, but the winter is hard because it's so yeah. dark for so long. Yeah, that's true. That's really true. So anyways, so Diet, that will always be going on on Thursdays. So we will have this class every Wednesday. We'll have uh, Diana's class on Thursday morning. We'll have a Thursday afternoon. So 3 p.m. class start time, your time uh, class on Thursday uh, Thursdays. And then Friday, there'll be the 8 to 10 a.m. And we have to go that early because India does not change uh, time zones and their class starts at 9.30 p.m. And if we, so when we all went back, they did not. And so then oh. their class would have started, if we started at nine o'clock, which is what we used to do, they start at, I don't know, 
10 30 it's insane and then we have the the little girl that that comes and she's like she's 11 years old and she always comes oh that's so sweet yeah all right well just let us know the schedule and we will all right i think we're getting and then we'll have the two weekend classes and then we'll add stuff on Sounds great. The weekend classes are exciting. I think I might be able to get a couple of people involved in that. I haven't even started to get feature into my little kid here. Are you painting dogs again? Let's see what you're working on. I'm working on my little godson. Oh, oh cute. Wait, did you hold, that up. hold it up again, hold it up again, hold it up again. There you go. Very sweet. His Aww. name is Micah. And I'm gonna give it to his parents for Christmas. Oh, that's wonderful. Are you using acrylic, Diana? Yeah, I am. I love acrylics because I paint over and I paint over and I paint yeah. over. Oil takes so long. Yeah. It takes you can do, you can do, that's an oil painting though. You can go pretty fast with oil uh, if you use um, something, a uh, gal kid or something. Yeah, I'm sure you can. And you know, I can see that the oil paint, oil paints has advantages but it's acrylic works for me you have found your medium yeah and i don't like the smell of the yeah you get a little i get dizzy painting with it yeah oil. and i guess i would have to move out of my house if i painted with <laughs> my, my husband is so allergic to everything so you found the right one. Yeah. 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 And actually, I'm going to uh, let you guys know that even though the demos can continue, start move to oil in February, you can continue on with, um, you can totally continue on with, uh, uh, acrylic. with acrylic. Um, uh, some people really prefer oil and some people yeah. want to try both. Um, I go back and forth. I'm on an I'm in an oil phase right now. So I get I get the appeal of oil, but it also it really sinks. Uh, no, not 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 the stuff that I have you use. Really? Uh, yep, yep. It's stinkless. It's stinkless. Wow. Yep. But not yep. even even the thing we did when you had the class in in uh, in uh, LA yeah. last summer. It still stinks. Yeah, I get very lightheaded when I paint with oil. I love. Oh yeah, oil. some people don't like. Some people don't like it. Yeah, definitely... no, I love oil. I just get. I just have to be in a very well ventilated space. You may want to just get golden acrylics then. Get some good. Yeah. Get good acrylics. No, I have so acrylics, just... but I love oil. I love and make sure you yeah. make sure you look at my my supply list because there's some yeah. specific colors I want you guys to have. I keep getting these notes from people who are wanting to buy these kind of pre-made sets and they don't have the right colors in them so they have too that... many colors anyway mm -hmm. they have too many colors anyway yeah and all the uh, but i i must tell you i had never i had never painted with golden before because i didn't know they existed oh mm -hmm. yeah I love them oh golden yeah. is by far yeah. superior My it's just a superior they're yeah. a superior product. Yeah. No, and they're not that expensive. No. They're not. All right. I'm calling it a night because I had too much rum. <laughs> okay, I, I love it. Everyone. You're per. I love <laughs> it. That's the best <laughs> excuse ever. <laughs> I'm like, I've hit my rum limit and I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. We'll yeah. see you next year. We'll see you next. Now, technically, I'll see you this year. Okay. But... Well, I'm gonna. I'm off next week, so I'm gonna hit as many classes as I can. Awesome. All right. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye Thanks, see everyone. You soon. Bye. Take care, sweetie. Bye. Wow, five brothers. <laughs> that is a yeah. lot of like family. Anyone else here from a big family? Not me. Two sisters. Two sisters. Huh? Were you the youngest? Yeah. I knew it. Oh. Why did I know that? You have youngest all over you. I know. <laughs> I don't know why, though. Why is that? Why is that? Why do you seem like a youngest child? I don't know. It's do you know they say that sort of historically youngest children are the fastest? Like the fastest people in the world are youngest children? No, I didn't. Yeah, because quite simply because they have to run out, run to keep up with everybody and like everybody else. <laughs> so particularly if there's like four or more kids in the family. I'm not that fast though. <laughs> but you went far. You oh, traveled yeah. far. Oh my God, I don't know what to do with this now. Hand it over. I've gone a bit crazy. Let's see. I can't wait. Is the wind crazy where you are too, Lisa? No, I haven't noticed it. I mean, I did go see some alert that we were going to have Santa Ana winds, but. Oh, here it's crazy. I don't hear anything. Kind of. I mean, that's the wrong. <gasps> I love it, Rollo. Oh, my God. All right. So here's some suggestions. I've got some, some suggestions. Because I didn't really. Start, I sort of suddenly thought that because there was so much white in it, in the actual animal. Mm hmm. This is great. This is Did great. I need to start working on the background first. Yes, yes. So what I would say is, look. So, so uh, I think he needs a few strong lines on this side. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me. Okay. Here, Sorry. so I'm going to yeah. point and show you. So on this side, uh, you notice how the edge of him kind of disappears. Yeah. And it looks a little odd. I really, this is really great. Like, don't get me wrong. Love it. I love the darks here. I want you to kind of, even though this is the light side of him, I want you to take like maybe a, oh, do you have any pastel pencils or a charcoal pencil? I have a charcoal pencil. Take a charcoal pencil and give him a few contour, a little bit of a contour line here. Okay. What I was trying to do, which is yeah. abysmally, is I tried to use white charcoal. Yeah, that doesn't really work very well. So I, it's, it's, it's it works, work. but that's okay. I like it. I mean, I think it's like, I think you've got some things going on. And then I would suggest adding in some white pastel on top of the blue mountains here in the background that I'm pointing at to give them a little texture and maybe, yeah. And this, yeah, it is sort of pink and then it goes to yellow. I like how you handled the sky and these guys, if you give, so right now it's a little bit scribbly, yes. right back here. So I would go in and, and sort of etch in with your charcoal pencil, a little bit of a few dark lines, not too many, but just a couple here and here that you can see yeah. just to give it a little bit of variation. Also, if you look closely, you'll see there's a mountain back here. Here, hold on, let me point it out. It's here. Yeah. which has a lovely light side and a dark side. It's kind of peachy. I did have that and I didn't do it, didn't fill so it in. So add it in, add it back in, cause that will help you kind of like, but otherwise, so I'm just giving you ideas on how to like touch up various areas, continue layering on top. Yeah. This is great, I love it. Okay, cool. You're gonna love painting. <laughs> oh my god! What, what paints do we need to get again? Cause I've completely forgotten. They're in the, they're in the supply list. 
You want me to tell you right now because you're going to have to take notes, or do you want to just read the supply list? Supply list is that on the website. Yeah, the supply list is on the website uh, on the Roaming Studio. Actually, here I'll send it over. I'm hoping I'm not going to have like a situation where. Um, I, I've been left on my own here in LA to look after the whole West Coast. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you, Rollo, right now it's about 12 colors, but they're all many words and it would take a long, I mean, it's going to take a long time to write them down. So I'm going to send this to you guys. Go to www. So can I brag a little bit for you guys? Yes. We, we already know, but I, I oh, had yes. a commi commission dog paintings I was working on that I delivered yesterday. And I got the $200 tip because he liked it so much. Wow. Oh, That's awesome. That's so awesome. Great. That is awesome. Beyond what the cost of the paintings was? I, I charge him $200 each. Good. That's actually not bad money. No, it was, it was welcome for Christmas. All right. So uh, lot, uh, guys, this is where the supply list is. The, uh, I just sent you the link across the WhatsApp thread. Um, I also had a bit of a windfall this week. Yeah? Yeah? What? Uh, so my one of my neighbors when i first moved in suddenly approached me and said do you have a thousand dollars to spare yeah <laughs> and i checked my bank account and i said yes i think i do and he said because i've got this brilliant idea he said it's either win win or lose all <laughs> um he said you just have to be prepared to throw away a thousand dollars and i was like okay so i decided to do it and it was on norwegian air um because norwegian air they were down to 0.5 cents or something. Yeah. For a share. So I bought a few thousand shares. I spent $900 on it. And it's, I've now, I, it was $900 or something. And I've now got $78,000. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. <laughs> you have to explain that more. An Irish company suddenly decided to say that they were going to back them and fund them back into business. So the share price went from 0.5 cents. Oh to my God. 0.5 dollars. So in how in how long? In a year? Uh, no, in literally a day. A day. What? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> did did this guy know that was happening? Because if so, that's totally insider trading. No, no, no. Well, this is the thing. So no, it was um basically it was he was explaining to me the risk of it. He said, This is a risk. It could um they could either go under because they're trading so low. Right. Or but they're getting to the stage where someone may I thought they uh, were going under. But it said someone may step in and someone did step in. Oh my and God. Wow. Wow. Oh. Ha! Good That's job, Rollo. That Dang, Rollo. Drinks are on you next time we yeah. have an in person party. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But you better sell them so you can, so you can Same, but he said he, something happens. Um, he was telling me, and I need to talk to him about it. Um, he was telling me that when you have a massive raise like this, you shouldn't sell it immediately because there has to be some sort of investigation or whatever, uh, or something. I don't. I didn't really understand it. He said, "It's not really your money until it's like properly approved." Got it. Something. I don't really understand. I don't understand it. So he said, <laughs> he said "Don't sell it now because it's." It, he said, "Just wait a couple of weeks and then you can sell it because it will be uh, okay." I did the opposite of that. Uh, I did the completely opposite. I thought that, um, you know, 
green energy was the thing of the future. So 20 years of, 20 years ago, I bought $50,000 worth of green energy in a company that was on the up and it was bought by Enron. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh. I I need to say no more, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. My my housemate used to work for Enron. And really? She did no work for them. They just didn't, yeah. Not a very well managed Basically, company. Her job was to look after existing clients or something. And so she used to just make, what she used to do is just log in every day, go off rollerblading and getting drunk at the pub and this, that and the other, and then would just call up certain clients during the day and that would be it. Wow. And then, yeah, she got a, she got a big payout at the end. So. I don't think that will happen with the press club. <laughs> <laughs> although i like the press club though do you have when it's not pandemic do you have like get togethers and oh yeah yes, yes. <laughs> yes. and they do this big that big awards show we do two yeah, big do two big awards shows every year we had Dolly Parton last year, right? Oh, that, that's two or three two years, years ago. Last Quentin year Tarantino. Yeah. Fox um, introduced him. And yeah, we, we have big parties. We have big parties. Yeah. Hopefully next I year. I have one nominated. Yeah, let's see. You know, it, the nominations won't come out until February because we've we've extended the deadlines and but still yeah but next year we probably will be able to have an award show or even two right yeah let's hope i don't think next year <laughs> i don't think next year Really? Oh, no. Are year. you fucking kidding? Yeah, um, I think so. I think it's going to be I I think it's going to be 2022 before people can get oh. together in big groups like that. Uh, Come on, it. you guys, think about this. Think about what's no, happening. No, Fauci right says now. we'll all be vaccinated by the end of Q2. Yeah, but by then the I don't know. There's too many mutations happening right now. I don't the, know. The mutations is kind of good in some ways. I guess. Um, but, I mean, that's how the Spanish flu died out. It's a, right. It became more infectious, but less deadly. That's true. I don't know. I don't have a lot of hope for it. I feel like it's going to be, I think a lot of people aren't going to get vaccinated. I think. Yeah, that you know, is the biggest theory. Yeah, I mean, in this country, anyway, half the people won't get vaccinated. The anti-waxers can really yeah. cause some problems. Well, it, it's not, you know, the anti-vaxxers are, are merging with the Trumper like unhappiness, like all of that is happening. But I know really it's, could... it's so weird because Trump developed the vaccine. Like I, I'm getting yeah. more and more to the point where I think People just want to, they want to fight something, right? They want to fight it's something. Like, so That's we're exactly going to, now, right. this is what we're going to fight now, you know, with, you know, it's, yeah. That's exactly right. They want to fight something. It's not yeah. rational. Yeah. It's not it, rational. It, it gets me in total despair at times, but I'm going to try to people be optimistic because it's the holidays. Lisa, people have always been like this. That's what you have to do. They've <laughs> always been like this and they're always going to be like this. So don't worry. Yeah, well. Yeah. You said, you know, you have a right to, you know, your own views and to be an idiot if you want, but not when it's like affecting yeah. my health and the health of people. Yeah. 
I didn't realize I until, did you guys know this, which is, uh, I mean, this was something that was brought up yesterday in this press conference, and I, I have no idea about this whatsoever. So the, apparently the severity in which you get COVID is based on the amount. Is that right? Sever severity of what? So the severity of which you get COVID. Yeah. When people get hospitalized and all this stuff. Yeah. To do with how um, close you are to someone that has COVID and how much time you expose yourself to them. Ah, so the I had virus, no idea. The more virus you suck in, basically, yeah, the worse it can be. So, um, uh, it, like the, the latest thing that they're trying to promote is um, keep moving and be outside. You know, don't stay still for too long. Just keep moving because that way, and keep distance because that way, even if you do get it, you won't be infected as bad as. That's uh, actually helpful to know. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. So it's about that they're, they're promoting this thing called keep moving. Oh. Um, yeah. And it's about the fact that uh, they, they just want people to know that, it, that that's one discovery that they've just made. I, I heard that from my accidental interview with, um, uh, I had an accidental interview with the CEO of Kaiser Permanente. Oh, wow. How did that happen accidentally? I know. You can't have an accidental interview, Rollo. Well, it was because- Look at Mooka is saying hello, by the way. <laughs> um, it's because I put in, I asked, they were doing this uh, this thing and I said to the publicist, could you get me someone from this panel uh, who could, um, uh, they, they were doing this press conference and I was expecting some sort of numpty um, a what? Sorry, numpty. Just, just a, a just a, do, just a, a, a talking head, or a, yeah. I know what you mean like a. And, and she said, "Oh yes, you can you can interview Greg Adams at one thirty. And I was like, "Okay." I had no, <laughs> idea, no idea who Greg Adams was, and I because I've been running everything. I was just like working, working, working until one thirty, and then I got on the line, and I was like, "Okay." And I wrote down his name, and I was like, "It's Greg Adams." And I said, "Can you please introduce yourself on the Zoom?" And he's like. I'm Greg Adams. I'm CEO and chairman of Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so why are you running everything? Are you guys taking turns? Is that what it is? You're all just coming. Everyone's on vacation. That's what I'm ah. And I'm the junior one. Got so it. I always, Got it. I always try and put in for Christmas and I never get it. Right. So. One day, Rollo, one day one day all right you guys send over your last um yes i just sent oh, you mine. lisa much better oh great lisa i know yeah, he's yeah, cute yeah. isn't he he's really cute <laughs> don't you feel proud i do actually all right so here's what i want us to do i'm going to pull this down for a second i'm going to remove the spotlight and i'm going to let's move into gallery view i want you guys to each lisa we'll start with lisa r i want you to tell me what you two things that you learned that you did well in this lesson. I want you to oh identify at least one thing, if not two. That I did well? Oh yeah. gosh. What did you do well? I feel on, I feel on the spot. Um, I'm gonna ask everybody the same question. So, and there's a reason for this. Oh God, I don't know. I, um, I have an answer. Okay, I mean, Rolo, okay, Rolo, you go your, first you while go I first. think about it. What's your answer? Okay. What well, have you done well? Okay. Uh, I've learned a bit more about perspective because actually the legs in a weird way and the head and the placement of the head don't look right. Right. In, but they do actually. Right. So it's about um, like your, your, uh, your instinct is to put the legs beneath the head. And as you can see here, the head is to the left of the. Well done. Oh, very uh -huh. good. Very so about... good. It's about learning that basically things perspective is not always what you think it is. Right. Like what we want to do is order everything like little soldiers right next to each other. Right. And uh, make everything even. And the truth is that's not how things look in real life. Excellent. I agree. And I think you did that very well. Is there something that you feel like you can work on that you learned uh, that you started, but what can you do better? What is there something that you want to keep working on? With this, 
Yeah, or just in general that you learned or that is, is there a concept or an idea that you want to keep working with? My main thing is, is I'd like to, because I've been using charcoal and then I've been using the pastels. Right. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued about using different media right now. Excellent. So you want to have practiced using other media? Just yeah, to just get going. And seeing yes. what, what works and what doesn't. So get your, so get your golden acrylics this week, my friend. We're going to get started. Okay. Um, Paul, what about you? What do you think you did well this week or well in this class? I learned how that, you know, with the rectangles and uh, the, the spatial uh, distancing, just, you know, like you said, similar to faces, I was able to, to put things together. And I was amazed when I saw, I, I put it together and I was like, wow, it really came, came well together. I was like, okay, that's, that works. And then afterwards we had some problems with the legs and then right, right. my big, my big issue was not getting the spatial distance, but I think I'm seeing it. I think I see it. If I, if I kind of, because I'm, I can be good at that. I think I'm just going to practice. I think if I, tomorrow with Diana, if, if I show up, I'll, that's what I'll work on. Perfect. Uh, and Paul, so that's like your, your, you, it's something that you learned today and you did well with, and also something you want to keep working on. It's not easy. Like it's really hard to go back and forth. You know what I mean? To like, so good. Excellent. This is what I want you to identify. Lisa. Um, well, I mean, I did this without using a grid, which is pretty unusual for me. Yes. So yeah. I am happy that I was able to measure basically using my fingers and figuring out how mm -hmm. far apart everything was. Um, what, what worries me is I don't know that I could do this without you putting out, you know, you identifying the rectangles. I would like to learn how imagine, to you know, be able to figure out that, how to do that you, myself. You, you imagine me doing that for, for a year with you every week. And maybe okay. twice a week. <laughs> we'll get better. You'll get better. Diana, what about you? Uh, no, I, I really, really enjoy taking part of the lesson without doing it. Right. <laughs> right. I, I, I learn by doing that too. Yeah. And yeah. It's me thinking of because I work differently because it's kind of in my back head but still not always in my back head mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it's funny diana when you do struggle it's the same problem that they all yeah. have which is yeah. you stop looking at your source and you start trying to make it up yeah like and and i have to keep telling even i have to remind you go back to your source what yeah. does your source look like don't don't ask me to get don't guess what's happening go back and look yeah so it's like and that's the same for me I have to go back and look. So it's a constant like going back and looking. You guys, this was really great. I feel very excited. We are gonna go to clouds, which is pretty easy to draw, but a totally different experience because we'll be painting. So next week, get your paints and be ready to start. <laughs> I'm so excited. Next, wait, wait next That's Wednesday, we're, we're painting next Wednesday? Yeah, why not? Okay. Why so not? I was supposed to be sent a whole load of acrylic paints Leah, by my aunt and they haven't arrived and they're going to be here another two bloody weeks. No. Well, oh, maybe you should buy uh, Yes, They're all my granny's acrylic paints. That's okay. Get, so, get, other, get yourself some paints and then add your granny's acrylic paints to it, to the mix. Yeah, you will there use it. There's too much paint. Believe me. Yeah, there is no such thing. It's too much paint. You'll have a plenty of paint. Um, and it's a little bit pricey. It's a little bit pricey. And I'm working on maybe trying to put together an Amazon list or something so people can just click one link and buy everything. That would be awesome. Um, so I'll take a look and see. But I don't think it, we have time for that, for this particular thing. For anybody who wants to go to oil, I can do that. Um, so uh, in February, but if you also, Alicia, you should just go to the office and get the paints that we have there. I, I already took the acrylics. I was, I was going to say that the oils are there, Rollo, if you want them, I probably will stick with acrylic for a while. Wait, did we have acrylics? Yeah. Did we, do we started with acrylics even before, I, even before you came down and we did the oil. Oh, okay. So you get the acrylics. Maybe you should give Rollo the oil and let him yeah. work the acrylics. If you so want to go, it's a little tricky because oil is behaves differently than yeah. acrylics do, but it's pretty much the same. Yeah, uh, it's pretty I mean, much the same principle. 
Yeah, it's the same principle. But it doesn't dry fast. So no. that's actually an issue. I'd rather you get acrylics, Rollo. Get acrylics and then later you can give him the oils. Yeah, you, you can oil. have the oils. I think, um, yeah, All right. like I said, I think I'll stick All with right, acrylics. so everybody get your paint on. Get your paints. We'll start All with right. paint. Woo! And Merry Christmas, everybody Merry who Christmas, does Christmas. Everyone. And we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week, guys. Great class today. I will call you either maybe tomorrow or otherwise in a couple of days. Okay. All right, my dears. And uh, Diane, if I can, I'll come and join tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye, Bye guys. Take care.